Hello everyone, I just got a little share with you today. Um, I have found a couple of, uh, what would you call them, they're like jewellery stands. They were at the um, thrift shop and they weren't actually for sale, they had a lot of things displayed on them. And um, I just went up to the counter and asked the lady, you know, would they be willing to sell some and they actually had some spare ones under the counter in a different section so the lady you know sold me four of uh, four pieces for eight dollars so two dollars each she sold them for and they were a little bit worse for wear and I thought well I would really like to alter a couple of these and I thought well I'll use the book paper and I've used the Norwegian book paper from Lily's store which is Shabbylicious on Zibbit and I'm very pleased with how they've turned out. I've used two different types. This one here which is finished is actually done using the, uh, is it the, it's the hem, hem book paper which is very fine paper and very easy to work with as you can see. Um, and because this one's more petite than the other one, I cut smaller pieces or tore smaller pieces to make it with. And I just covered it everywhere in that lovely sound book paper. And then I've just put a, a little bit of silver trim around the edge there with some bling, uh, metal bling this one is, in the center of that. And a lovely jewel on top and then I've just made this necklace and I think it looks really really nice I actually I I'd probably prefer it if you know these were a little bit looser here so I'm it may have to be glued into space but I don't um into its place but I don't want to glue it just yet because it, it's for somebody so um that's the first one I've made and I'm very happy with how that one's turned out and it like I said it's quite a petite little model and I have seen these for sale in Lingcraft in Australia and they range from $10 to $20 so I think I got quite a bargain for $2 and this one this one's not finished yet I've used the heavier book paper on this one because it's a larger on a larger scale and I think this one will lend itself to some beautiful antique, like a an, a, an antique lace ruffled uh, collar or something like that. But just to give you an idea of what it actually looked like to start with, the back hasn't been finished on this one. And as you can see, it's, you know, it's quite a simple structure actually. Um, but very simple just to decoupage and make a lovely gift for somebody out of okay just a nice easy tip for what to use your book paper for ladies and because this one's thicker paper I've made the pieces bigger um, it just it it tends to look a little bit better on that one and another way to use your book paper now Lily also has just put her beautiful craft room tour up on her channel and she's covered her desk in book paper and um, I think she's used some sort of uh, oh, I forgot what it was called now um, a lacquer over the top of it or something like that but it's also a form of decoupaging and it looks really really good so um, you know, if you're interested in seeing what furniture looks like covered in the book paper, then I'll put a link to her her um, craft room tour below so you can take a look at that. Okay, thank you for joining me again today, ladies. And if I don't have any more videos up before Christmas, because it's getting very close, it's like, I think, five days away now here in Australia, I'd just like to say Merry Christmas to everybody and I hope you have a wonderful wonderful day on Christmas but for the entire week you know just to have a lovely time with your family and please stay safe everybody's rushing around at the moment and it just you know being on the roads is is mad and people just aren't watching and they're being impatient so please be careful especially people who are having lots of snow and ice 
and rain at the moment please be extra careful when you're traveling around so that you can spend Christmas with your family okay thank you for joining me today bye